Hello and welcome to day 14. Today we are going to talk about how you behave in adversity. In the situations which don't go according to you. Do you complain? Do you move forward? Do you just suppress it? How do you handle adversity? How do you handle when things go, do not go according to your plan? They might be going according to others' plans, people in other people in your space, but they are not going according to your plan. Let me tell you a small story regarding this. Once our daughter went to her father and kept complaining that this is happening to me, this is happening to me. You know, the victim mentality uh, that children have sometimes. She was complaining and uh, the father listened to her and he's a chef. So he told her, come into the kitchen with me. He takes her into the kitchen and on the fire, he places three pots of water. And when the water starts boiling, in the first pot, he puts in potatoes. The second pot, he puts in eggs. The third pot, he puts in coffee beans. For 20 minutes, he just sits and waits while the daughter complains. And she's bored. She does not know what is going on. She does not even want to know what the result is. She's just complaining. So after 20 minutes, the father drains all three and he keeps the potatoes, eggs and coffee in front of her. And he asks her, what do you see? She says, I see potatoes, eggs and coffee. And he says, what happened to them? When, he, when she touches them, she sees the potatoes have become soft. The eggs have become hard boiled. And the coffee gives a beautiful aroma. Then he says, it is the same adverse situation all three have gone into, the boiling water. Potatoes were hard. They were unrelenting. Yet, when they went in, they became soft. Eggs were soft. They were brittle. They could break easily. Yet, when they went in, they became hard. And coffee? It is something amazing. It changed the properties of the water. So he asked her, what are you? Are you a potato, an egg or coffee? So ask yourself, find out what are you? When a, when a situation comes up, how do you react? Do you blend into the situation? Turn into coffee? Do you soften? Or do you harden? So ask yourself what it is that you do when you go into a situation. Be mindful. Be mindful of how you are thinking, how your thoughts are processing, and how it is that is helping you towards your goal. When you are working towards a goal, you cannot let anything affect you. Stick on to it. Persevere with it. Use your willpower. Use your mental power. You have to do what you have to do to reach your goal. Whether it is good health, whether it is dieting, whether it is starting a new project, whether it is entering a, a new company, whether it is promotion, um, whether it is starting a new business, whether it is becoming a new mother, whether it is getting married, whether it is a change, a little change in your life. However small, however insignificant it might seem to others, it is important to you. So give it that importance, give it that love. The mudra we are going to do today is called the Dharma Chakra Mudra. Why Dharma? Because Whatever we do, you have to understand that Sanatan Dharma teaches us one very, very important aspect. Dharma Rakshati Rakshitaha. When you protect Dharma, Dharma will protect you. Always. So go according to ethics. 
according to moral values. Don't just do something because you want to earn money or because you want more followers or because you want to learn something new and then teach it and become rich or because somebody will praise you. Don't do something for the external world. Don't do something for the returns. Do it in an extremely ethical manner and do it in a way it connects you to the universe at a very dharmic level. So this particular mudra, left hand, right hand, middle finger, you join it, and right hand, index and thumb have to be joined. I hope this is clear. Right hand, index and thumb, and then the middle finger joins to the index and thumb of the left hand. And the other three fingers point upwards. This is the connection of your dharma, your ethical and moral values with the universal laws. Dharma is nothing but a universal law that you all have to follow. We all have to follow it. If you don't follow dharma, the result, see, it is all based on action and consequence. It's Newton's third law. Whatever you put into the universe will come back to you with either the same force or more force. But it will come back to you. Action and reaction are mutually dependent on each other. So whatever you do, do it with ethics. Whatever you do, do it with moral values. Respect it. Respect dharma. And as you do this mudra, connect with the universe and say that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing with full faith and with dharma. Thank you so much. And I will see you again in day 15.